Hello, today we are going to try to fix this electronic garbage can. It has a problem of not holding a charge, but maybe that can be also a problem with the charging circuitry. I'm not sure. We are going to open and we are going to test the battery. What is the problem when we are connected to the main AC or to a power bank like I've got in this test case. The garbage can is working just fine. It open, it seal the bag, but as soon as we unplug it, it completely die and do not anything. So how does it looks like? I've got the power bank, I've got our meter, and as you can see, we've got a very small amount of current going inside but it's not actually charging the battery because if we open the lid you will be able to see that we've got those LED blinkings and that's where the current is being used so absolutely it's not working but I'm plugging the garbage can on and as you can see it's operating just fine it's working like it should be. So we've got a clearly problem with the battery. I unplug and let's see what's going to happen when I move my hand. Nothing. It does not open at all. So let's open this device and let's check the battery. I'm going to unplug it anyway. Here is the model number, if you would be interested in the more detail. The two screws are being hidden under those rubber feet. This is the back when we've got the support. After we remove our screw, we put the garbage can on the front, this is our bag, and we are going to slide the bag in that direction, but we are going to make sure that we are not going to pull very far away, that's because we've got a cables that are connected to the motherboard from the charging socket and from the on-off switch. And as you can see, we slide it out and that's what we see inside. Here are our wires and we can unplug them from the motherboard and the charging socket and now it's free. This is our battery. It should read a 12 volt. This is a SLA, seal lead acid. Let's try to measure the voltage and confirm that is drain. We've got our meter ready and I'm doing measurement and we can see a 6 volt, 7 and a half volt and that means the battery is completely dead. It's completely discharged it's most likely going to be sulfated and we just have to throw it away. We have to discard it and replace with a new one. There is absolutely no way in trying to recover it. This is how the battery looks like. Sometimes people are going to say that 
you can try to revive that, put a high voltage pulses into the battery terminals from my experience that never work and it never restore the full capacity, even like a one fifth of the capacity. It is not true, do not fall into any of that. If it's sulfate, just discard the battery. Another very important fact, this is a 12 volt battery. Most of batteries that you can commonly find in that form factor are going to read a 6 volt because that's the like the most used standard. So double check that you are ordering a 12 volt because you can take a look at, oh yeah, that looks exactly the same and it will arrive at the 6 volt rating. This is the battery from a different garbage can from a Tonio 12 volt, same rating, but that one should be fully operational. I've got it from a unit with a different problem with the motherboard and I was unable to fix it. So let's try to measure it. And we've got a nominal 12 volt, so that battery should be fully operational. I'm going to put it back. Just like that, I'm going to connect it to our motherboard. The most important part to do right now, we replace that battery, we replace with a new one. So most likely device is going to work, but question is, do we fix only a symptom or a problem? The problem can be in not working charging circuitry and our new battery is going to die. So I'm going to connect everything back. I'm going to plug the power bank and I'm going to check, do we have a charging current? Here is my charging cable to the back and we've got our power bank. I'm plugging the power bank to our device and I can clearly see that we've got a power going into the device, but maybe something is broken, maybe something is cooking with that power. So I'm going to grab our clamp meter. I'm going to into two amp range. I'm going to the DC mode, zero it, and I'm going to measure power and current that is going into the battery. And you can clearly see that we've got a 0 0.4 amp going into the battery. You might ask yourself, why we are pulling 1.27 amp and only 1.4 amp going into the battery. Here we've got a 5 volt and it's going to be step up into the like 13.8 volt voltage for charging the battery. So as you can see, we've got a good fix. I'm going to put everything back and we are going just to make sure that everything is working. I've got pack of new bags. We are going to put them inside just like that. I'm going to turn the device on. We are going to hold our power switch and let Did it work? Yes, of course. Do we still have a charging board, charging current? We plug it in to the power bank. We've got the charging current and the status indicator are nicely showing that is charging. So we've got a very good fix. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.